In this video I'm going to show you how to paint um, an item for a baby's room. Um, it's meant to hang on a wall, so it's pretty thin. And then on the back, um, you can see where you can use a hook to hang it. And for this project I'll be using the Kimple Colors. Step one is to prime and base coat your piece. I primed it using Kimple's primer and then base coated it in an acrylic white. Step two is to antique the entire piece in Kimple's walnut. I just put it on full strength and be sure to cover up all the white areas. Using your cotton rag, start pulling back. This is what it looks like pulled back. And if you want to pull it back more or if you're having problems pulling it back, you can use this product here. It's Americana Drying Time Extender. Works really good. Just Put a little bit on a clean part of your rag. And then just lightly go over the areas that you want pulled back more. And then switch to a clean part of your rag. And then just keep repeating that process until um, you get it pulled back how you want it to be. Let this sit overnight to dry. After letting this sit overnight, I'm going to use one of my favorite Kimple colors. It's amber. And I'm going to coat it in the, put it on the bare, put it on full strength. And it's such a nice color when you pull it back. It's going to warm it up really nice. So paint this on full strength. Using your rag, start pulling back. Using Kimple's Angel Flesh, I'm going to go over the bear um, on the cheeks, forehead, over the nose, and um, on the hands. Using your rag, start gently pulling back. Just use soft circular motions. Using Kimple's Prim Rose, paint the inside of the ears. Then take your rag and um, pull it back. And then it's going to put some of that color on your rag, and so you can use that on the cheeks and then uh, rub that in. Using a metallic acrylic, I'm going to put it where the an eyeshadow on the bear's eyes, where an eyeshadow naturally appears. Step two for the eyes is to paint the entire eye white. Step three is to do the iris color. I'm going to do it in Kimple's Amber. and fill that in. Next, paint the pupil black. Fill that in. For the eyelashes, you always want to start on the inner eye and work out. So start here. And then your next eyelash is going to 
start at the base of the last one and then up and out. And stop about right here. You never want your top eyelash to touch your bottom eyelash. And on the bottom, again, always start on the inside. And for the next one, it's a lot easier if you turn your piece upside down. And again, start on the inner eye and work out. I painted the goose in yellow, uh, the puppy dog in a blue Kimple color that I made just mixed white and Kimple's sapphire and then the same in the green mixed white with Kimple's emerald and so just using your rag start pulling these back real gentle um, and work these until you get it the way you want. Uh, the green is pulling back a little bit difficult so a product that I like to use to help pull back is Americana's Drying Time Extender. Just put a little bit of it on your rag, and as soon as it touches the paint, it's going to help it pull back. Using Kimple's White, I'm going to highlight the puppy's feet and the bunny's tail, and then pull that back. For the fence, I'm going to use Kimple's White and I'm going to rouge it. So you just get some of the white on your cloth. I'm going to flip it over so I can do the other side. Apply it. And then just real gently kind of start pulling it back, smoothing it out. So this is what the finished piece looks like. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and um, I hope it inspires you to try out the Kimple colors. Happy painting!